Every single session I, I discuss nutrition with clients. Uh, very simple. Nutrition is about 80% of your results of weight management. I don't care how hard you work out, how hard you run, how hard you exercise, how much cardio you do. Um, you're not going to outburn what you eat. It's really hard to do unless you're an Olympic athlete. Now, um, how you lose weight, or uh, lose weight, let's say lose weight. Your goal is to lose weight, okay? It is very simple. You have to be in a calorie deficit. And there are many ways to go about doing that, but that is the only way you can actually lose weight. Say, for example, you burn 2,000 calories a day. Okay? And you eat 2,000 calories a day. What happens to your weight? It's a negative, net, 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 sorry. It stays exactly the same. You don't lose any weight. Now, we'll go, we'll go, here we go, the opposite. You burn 2,000 calories a day, you eat 3,000 calories. What happens? You gain 1,000 calories or something. Most likely, it's gonna be fat. There are 3,500 calories and one pound of fat. So if you did this for three and a half days, if you did this for an entire week, you'd gain two pounds of fat that week, which is a lot. Let me, let me get that. So this is a uh, example of what five pounds of fat looks like. This is a density, kind of how big it is. It's, it's almost like butter. Um, and it kind of um, gets stored on the inside, obviously it gets stored inside your body, but your body condenses it. So what happens is if you are, if you have too much fat in your body, your body ends up uh, internalizing it and storing it on top of your internal organs. And then once that happens, then you start growing a little bit wider or more inches, I should say. And uh, this is a density of about five pounds of fat. So five, five pounds times 3,500, that's what is that? 17,500 calories. So. <laughs> and this is about five pounds of muscle. You can see the density is much smaller. Um, it weighs about the same, but uh, five pounds of muscle um, is much, oh, I already said this, five pounds of muscle is a lot smaller than five pounds of fat. And what happens is when you're doing weight training, it um, you're, how you get tone is that your muscles contract or are a little more contracted. It helps pull the skin back. And um, as you lose body fat, you start seeing more cuts or you get more lean and tone. Okay, so going back to going back to fat, uh, there is only. I know I'm going to tangent here. There's only two ways you can look. You can either look really lean and tone or you can have a little bit extra fat on you with a lot of muscle, which is kind of what my body type is right now. Um, and it's really hard to have both. If you see people who are extremely lean and tone, we're talking like two, 4% body fat who are completely shredded, completely ripped. Um, it is virtually impossible for them to have a lot of lean body mass without the use of performance enhancers, which is steroids. Um, your body cannot sustain having a lot of muscle with a little bit of fat uh, without the use of, of steroids. So, um, and a, a, there's a lot of media out there and obviously every celebrity, single celebrity that you see, fitness magazines, you see these guys that are shredded, just huge muscles and low body fat, that is not natural. It is really hard, it, it, it's almost impossible to do without performance enhancement drugs. So try not to, and it's hard, but try not to think about looking that way unless you're gonna go that route, which I don't recommend because most people who take performance enhancements, um, they have some form of um, heart condition by the age of 50 or 60 and um, you know, they potentially die from it. Um, it's not good for your heart, it's not good for your, um, your liver, kidneys. It, it's not good for your entire body as, as any, as any um, drug like that is. So knowing that, you have to decide how you wanna look. Do you wanna have lots of muscle with a little bit of extra fat on you? 
or do you want to be extremely lean and tone but not a lot of big muscles? Uh, most people want to be extremely lean and tone. So you have 2,000 calories uh, burn a day, you eat 3,000 calories, you're going to gain two pounds of fat a week. Okay? Which is, which is 7,000 calories. Extra. Um, now, well, lean body mass, which is muscle, also has a, a general yield of about 3,000 calories worth of energy. So it takes about 3,000 calories, plus or minus some, to build uh, one, uh, one pound of muscle. All right, so you burn 2,000 calories a day, you eat 1,000 calories. Very simple, you lose weight. You lose 1,000 calories worth of energy a day, and that's equivalent to uh, two pounds of fat uh, a week. Okay. That's the only way you can gain or lose weight. It's based off the law of thermodynamics, which states that energy cannot be created or destroyed, but transferred. So if you transfer, based off this law of thermodynamics, if you transfer more calories than you can burn, you're gonna store that as something. And unless you're on a performance enhancement drug, for example, you're most likely gonna store it as fat. It's really hard for your body to build a lot of muscle very quickly. Um, I've only seen maybe a quarter pound or maybe a half a pound of muscle um, every week. Um, for males, um, maybe a pound, a half a pound to a pound of muscle a month for females. Um, because it's all about testosterone. Testosterone is the primary precursor to build muscle and lose fat. Estrogen is almost the exact opposite. Estrogen is a pre precursor to build fat and uh, not retain as much muscle, which is one of the reasons why men have such an easy time losing body fat uh, is because your metabolisms are higher, because the more muscle you have on you, the higher your uh, metabolism is, the more calories you burn, which means more calories you get to eat. In today's society, uh, food is plenty available and it's really easy to eat a lot of calories and uh, we're very sedentary and not burn it off. And that is, and that, uh, and that's, that's the, major, the major problem with that. Um, okay, so uh, now macros are also important too. Macros are macronutrients. Now we know how to lose weight. We know how to lose something. When you're in a calorie deficit, your body's gonna wanna lose muscle and fat, unfortunately. The reason why we do weight training, the reason why we work out and, and lift heavy weights is to help stimulate your muscles to grow, if not to maintain them. And if you just do cardio or you just diet, what ends up happening is that you lose almost the same ratio of muscle to fat because you're not stimulating your muscles to change, you're not stimulating them to grow or get stronger. And what happens is your body fat percentage doesn't change. Body fat percentage, not BMI, body fat percentage is what determines how healthy you are. If you're obese, if you're in shape. For example, I'm around 16% body fat right now, which is healthy and a healthy range of body fat. Um, if you're looking at trying to get super lean and tone, uh, for males, about 8%. I'll, I'll, I'll throw a chart later to show you guys. Uh, for females, uh, about 18% is ideal. Um, and then uh, for males, anything above 23, 24% body fat is considered uh, clinically obese. And for females, about 34% plus is considered clinically obese. And all that means is you have too much fat on you compared to muscle. Uh, doesn't mean you're as big as a house. Uh, I've, seen, I've seen many people that are uh, clients that are skinny fat, meaning they have no muscle on them. They just have, a, they just have fat, no muscle whatsoever. Not whatsoever, obviously they have muscle, but not a lot. And uh, what happens is their body fat percentage come out to 30% for, for a female, which is really, really high. And um, funny enough, they're, they're considered unhealthy because their body fat percentage is really high. BMI uh, is kind of misleading because if you're working out and if you lift weights and uh, you have a lot of muscle on you, you can be considered unhealthy on that. Um, so I, I really, it's kind of, it's not very accurate in that sense. Uh, what really matters is where your body fat percentage is. Um, if you're at the in shape range, if you, you take a bodybuilder, for example, who is 5% body fat, but he weighs like 220, uh, and he's only five foot six, for example. 
BMI scale, completely overweight. He's obese. But you look at him and he's completely healthy. He's actually in shape because he works out because he has a lot of muscle on him, right? Uh, vice versa, you t on the BMI scale, you get, you get someone who's skinny fat, who has no muscle on them, but they're really, really skinny and just have, have, has, has more fat than muscle on them. Um, at 30% body fat, the BMI would say they're healthy. So it's kind of skewed. And for the general population who do doesn't work out, it makes sense. But for the most part, it's not a, a good tool to figure out um, if someone is actually healthy internally or not. Um, uh, based off the two scales, BMI or body fat percentage. All right, let's go to macros. So uh, macros, switch pants. Let's go blue. Macros are, are important too because we already know now that in order for you to lose body fat, you got to be in a calorie deficit. In order for you to maintain, maintain muscle, you got to do resistance training. You got to um, stimulate those muscles to maintain to grow, so that way you can change it. That way, it's easier for your body to burn burn more calories, which then effectively maintain muscle, which then effectively burns fat. Now, macros are important is because they're the types of energy that we consume, okay? Macros are, we've got proteins, we've got carbs, and you got fats, all right? Simplest form of energy is ATP, adenosine triphosphate. It's, what you're, uh, it's what, how your body contracts muscles. And then, um, uh, through the Krebs cycle, etc., and what your body prefers is glucose. It, it it's it's basically sugar, um, and that's what your body prefers to run on. Uh, there's a really good analogy on how how this all works. Imagine you, you know, your body's a car, and your gas tank is the sugar that you put in uh, your carbs, and your battery is your fat, fat in your body. So if you're trying to lose uh, body fat. If you keep if you keep ingesting carbs, if you keep filling the gas tank, your body's never going to go to the battery. It's never going to it's never going to go and cut uh, use your body fat unless you're an extremely huge deficit. So the idea here is to make sure that we keep the gas tank very low and force our body to use our own body fat for energy. And uh, our body wants to stay in homeostasis, and that's the problem with losing body fat. It likes to maintain it. Prehistoric times, um, food was scarce, and our body would like to maintain body fat as much as possible, just in case there was a bad season where we couldn't eat uh, for a couple days or a week or a month, for example. We had extra body fat stores so we can survive. Now it's the complete opposite. We have abundance of food. Everything is high calories. Um, too too much. Not even nutrients. Too much crap in the food and um, it's, uh, it's so dense that it's really hard to burn off what we consume now. Okay? So if you're trying to lose body fat, you want to use that battery up as quick as possible. So um, the type of diet that I usually like to do is, uh, if you're working out, is high protein, low carb, and moderate fat. Eating fat does not make you fat. It's just an energy source. Fats take about, say, six to nine hours to break down for energy. Meaning, turn that into glucose. Turn that into to carbs, glucose. Carbs, it depends what type, simple. You have simple carbs, and you have complex. Simple carbs get digested within 10 minutes. They are super fast. Complex, maybe one to two hours. realized it is really hard to see all this because it is so close together. All right, proteins um, take about three to five hours of digest to, to, current, to turn to, to glucose into energy. So the reason why we want to keep the carbs low is because they digest so quickly, they're available for energy right away. If you don't burn off that energy right away, it gets stored as fat. It's, it's that simple. Um, if we keep our proteins high, we get our amino acids to repair, uh, repair muscle tissue when we work out. It keeps you fuller longer. It doesn't convert into glucose right away. Um, and um, it, it helps us use our battery for fuel. And fats take six to nine hours. I'm not condoning a high fat diet here, but it is 
uh, too hard for your body to digest fat and convert into energy right away. So um, having fat is good for your, um, uh, your hormone levels. It's good for your micronutrients, uh, absorption of your micronutrients, which is your vitamins and minerals, um, and your uh, uh, how full you are, how, serious, um, how satiated you are. So uh, with proteins, I usually stick with about 50%, carbs about 20, and fats about 30% of your uh, daily, daily intake. Um, now, how do you figure out how many calories you're supposed to eat? You can use my nutrition app, um, which is free. Um, my, my whole free personal training program has nutrition in it too. Um, it'll, it'll give you a nutrition program, nutrition plan. Uh, it's more customized for what your goals are. Um, but just in case, if you don't have the app or it's hard for you to get it, that's really easy to explain. Um, your, it's basic your TDEE, how many calories you burn a day on average. Uh, or your um, resting metabolic rate RMR. Resting metabolic rate states how many calories you burn at rest. So um, you would need to get your body fat percentage taken. I don't like scales that are use electrolysis just because it measures how much water you have on you. And if you're overhydrated or dehydrated, it's going to be completely accurate. Inaccurate. Um, I use calipers. So. Um, so like this, uh, it's about one to two percent inaccurate up or down. Uh, or you can go get a uh, hydroelectrostatic weighing. You can go get dunked in water and um, and find out where your, your true accurate body fat percentage is. The calipers are probably the easiest thing to do. Um, but once you find out how your calipers, uh, or you find out um, what your body fat percentage is, you find out your body fat percentage and you find out how much muscle you have. So say for example, uh, all right, I'm gonna do it over here. Say for example, you weigh 200 pounds and you're at 10% body fat. Okay. So that means you have 20 pounds of, uh, 20 pounds of fat on you, right? 20% of, 10% uh, of 200, uh, 20 pounds of fat. It also means is you have 180 pounds of lean body mass. Right? So, um, based off your resting metabolic rate, uh, the easiest equation is about 10 calories per pound of lean body mass. How many calories you burn a day at rest without any activity. So you're looking at easy 1800 calories a day per Man, I can't write. Yeah, so 1,800 calories a day is what uh, what you would burn. And um, now, what does that mean? Does that mean you eat 800, cal uh, 800 calories a day in order to be in a thousand calorie deficit? No. Um, there is a recommended uh, amount of calories that you should be eating per day. You want to maintain your lean body mass. Uh, you want to eat enough to maintain your lean body mass so your body doesn't use your lean body mass for energy. Because if you use your lean body mass for energy, you end up burning less calories every single day. And what ends up happening is you uh, end up at a plateau and you don't burn any more calories or as many calories as before. And it's really hard to uh, get out of that plateau. You want to eat enough to maintain your lean body mass, uh, but you, which means is you need to, if you're, if you're burning 1800 calories a day, you're burning 1800 calories a day, uh, you need to do at least an hour of exercise a day, cardio, anything. And that hour exercise hopefully will yield you a 500 calorie extra burn. And that'll put you in about a 500 calorie deficit a day, which is equivalent to about one pound of fat a week. All right, so 500 calories times seven equals 3,500 calorie burn. And as long as you're, you're working out uh, to maintain lean body mass, your body's not gonna utilize your muscle for energy. It's, more likely going to use your own battery storage or your fat. Uh, so 3,500 calories um, uh, burn a week. And you'll lose one pound of fat a week. Okay. Um, and then you got your, so that, that was macros. Um, 
and your micronutrients are important too. I always recommend clients take a multivitamin. Um, essential ones with everything in it. Uh, there are so many brands out there uh, with, with all types of supplements that, you, that, that are out there. They're not regulated by the FDA. 